has it, something's off at the church. There's blood in the baptismal font, and pastor's gone missing. And Pastor? my genius plan was to investigate it alone. Of course. Don't stress, Layla. Arcane's oh, new shit. game? Wait, what? Thank God. Come on, find the others and beat feet. You know, Redfall used to look like it was straight out of a postcard. A picturesque island off the coast of Massachusetts. The bustling historic downtown, the seafront district, and the old lighthouse. Then, something happened. People started vanishing, and those who didn't, sold out, big time. Fast forward, basically everyone's either a vampire, a cultist trying to become a vampire, or dead. And these okay. aren't just trashy movie vampires. These monsters blocked out the sun and pushed back all the water, totally cut us off from the outside world. Gotta admit though, if I have to be stuck on an island full of vampires, I'm glad it's with y'all. Feelings mutual, I guess. Aw, thanks, Jacob. We've also got Remy, our engineer genius, and her little robot buddy. She means you'll be born. Who's a good robot? Who's the best robot? And our resident expert on all things creepy. I prefer the term cryptozoologist, but to each their own. Last but not least, yours truly. I have these weird powers. We've been digging for answers, but haven't found much beyond blood and death. Luckily, Car. the vampires and their sycophants aren't discreet about where they like to nest. I bet the answers we need are inside those tourist traps turned fortresses. Spotted some bloodsuckers in their fan club near the festival grounds. Let's start there. Ghosting out. Go straight at him or just slip past. Let's just get this done on my mark. Okay. Oh shit, blood bag! They know we're here. Look alive! This one is mine. Going up! It's a four-play co game, I guess, yeah. Tells me there's a nest nearby. Your what? Dev, that's not a thing. Found something. Oh, now I simply must go in there. What is that? Where does it go? Some kind of collective consciousness. That's impossible. There's the movie theater. I used to come here all the time. Why'd they have to mess this up for me? Ah, oh, shit. Le <laughs> Left for more, but... <laughs> yeah. Go in here, try to stop! 
Yeah. Skirt. Could be all right, I guess. That was arcane, really. Oh, yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> This is no 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 this is Just like that? Just like that? What? <laughs> okay. Selling humans is drugs. Did we just You're see that? The only one that can stop them. <laughs> okay. Realize we're gonna have to take out the entire alien drug cartel. <laughs> You're just gonna leave me here in, in what, space? Everybody lives in space, in, including you. All right, you're a bounty hunter now. You gotta help me rescue my friends. They're Gatlians, just like me. What did you miss? A silk song. <laughs> hey, why are you squeezing me so tight? How about a little dinner first and some bubble bath maybe first? Look at us, blasting away! Oh yeah, that's one of my children. They die fast. Don't worry, it's easy to make more. I mean, the guns are creative, but... I'm knifey. Stab, stab. Yes, more, more. I need more stabbing. Oh, nice. Everyone fight each other! <laughs> I like the weapons. <laughs> oh, 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 well, well, okay. Well, now, well, now I sort of, now I can. I thought it was pretty good actually. I like it. There's no talking on this show? Oh. Yeah. Welcome <laughs> to the Xbox and Bethesda Game Showcase. Today, we're doing something we've never done before. For the first time ever, our entire <laughs> show is focused on games you can play over the next 12 months. You're going to see more gameplay than we've ever had in a show. Industry defining racing experiences gripping narratives, compelling strategy titles, and my favorite, the most anticipated open world RPG of the last 20 years. All playable in the year ahead. And the best part is, with the Xbox, you'll be able to play those games in more ways than ever before. You can play on your console, PC, or on the go with Xbox Cloud Gaming. You can play with who you want, where you want, and when you want. Today, we're going to show you more than 30 titles that are coming to Game Pass, and that is on top of the hundreds of titles coming to members over the next year. Our next announcement shows that the benefits of Game Pass go well beyond the console. We are thrilled to be working with an iconic team that has built some of the most played, 
most watched franchises in the entire world. And now, all Game Pass members will be able to unlock the benefits for these incredible games on PC and mobile. For over a decade, players have created a thriving culture of competition and creativity Riot around games. our games. From clutch plays with friends, to unforgettable moments in esports, to amazing creations that have blown our minds, our community has continually taken Riot Games to new heights. Is this a fighting game or MMO Today, maybe? we're proud to invite the Xbox community into that world. Wait. We're bringing our biggest PC and mobile games to Game Pass. Oh. Subscribers will unlock every champion on League and Wild Rift, all Valorant agents, select cards in Legends of Runeterra, and little legends in Teamfight Tactics. And that's just the start. Okay. Thank you for coming on this journey with us, and welcome to Riot Games. Home sweet home. I didn't know Valorant was like that where you unlock agents like Lee. I thought you had everyone from the beginning. Off here, then you have to pay for new ones. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I like that bass there that they played? Give me that beat. I'm sorry, Amicia. For Hugo. He's not dead yet. Oh, is this Rat Game? This is Rat Game. Lake Tame. That one was good. I liked it. The macula is not just in Hugo's blood. It concerns everybody. And it can change everything. No! Oh. No, 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 no! Oh. Oh, flesh. Remember, no more killing soldiers. No more killing us. Look out! There's a killer around here! One of our men has been murdered! You're only making it worse! Amicia, don't! Alright. I'm tired of being afraid. Okay. I'll show them that it's over. Finally. <laughs> Is it tight? See, they're nothing. Nothing to be scared of. Nice. Alright. No, no. You are not them. What is wrong with me? Hugo. Oh, Amicia! 
Oh, I like this a lot. Release date, release date. Release date. Right. Yeah, that looked amazing. I like the first game. It seemed like the first game, but more brutality now. Oh, she did say that, Sarah. This is nice. How long is this? I'm guessing like two hours. Does someone say the word Skyrim? I like this Gamba. <laughs> That's a good Gamba, actually. Forza Motorsport is back. I'm Dan Greenwald, GM of Motorsport. <laughs> and I'm joined by Chris Asaki, creative director at Turn 10. Chris Forza Asaki, is uh, known Asaki. for its photoreal beauty and state-of-the-art immersion. Built from the ground up to showcase the Xbox Series X and S consoles, including techniques like real-time ray tracing on track. This is the most technically advanced racing game ever made. Today, we're excited to show you the all-new Forza Motorsport. All right. Welcome to Maple Valley. This track has been a fan favorite since the original Motorsport launched back in 2005. For the first time in Forza Motorsport, fully dynamic time of day brings Maple Valley to life in stunning detail. What you are seeing is an in-engine gameplay demo presented using a single camera with no cuts. Let's jump in with the M8. No. We've completely overhauled the driving experience. This includes a 48 times improvement in the fidelity of our physics simulation. Let's advance time of day here and look at the world details. Everything you see is new and has been captured with photogrammetry and 3D material scans. Advanced rendering and procedural generation techniques bring a new level of realism to the track. Here you can see the beautiful fall colors of Maple Valley. The grass, rocks, 3D vegetation, skies and clouds, they all demonstrate a generational leap in beauty and detail. Let's advance time again. You are looking at our all new dynamic time of day. This is a fundamental system to the new Forza Motorsport. And like weather, is available on every track. These new simulation details add further depth, drama, and dynamics to the racing experience. Hey, nice. In addition to our dynamic time of day, forward plus lighting and physically based lights come together to deepen the realism and immersion in the world. Changes in the time of day also change ambient temperatures, which affect track surface temps. Grip is also affected by these track temp changes, rubbering in, and of course, weather. Let's head to the pits. 
we've added features that players have been asking for. Tire and fuel management, multiple tire compounds, and new depth in car building create the ultimate racing playset. Advanced materials and shaders paired with ray tracing bring out incredible detail in the gold heat wrap, anodized aluminum, and carbon fiber. Engine bays with their complex self-reflection is a place where ray tracing really shines. Car damage is a racing reality. In Forza Motorsport, car damage is reproduced down to the individual scratches on the bodywork. You can see here some of the new details in the directionality of damage, how the paint peels away at exposed and raised edges, in the wheel abrasions, and even in the dirt buildup. Using the power of the Xbox Series X and S consoles, ray tracing makes everything feel more connected. Cars reflecting onto other cars. Cars reflect in their own mirrors, bodywork, brake rotors, and wings. Things just feel more natural, more real. We believe that the accuracy of our overhaul physics, the beauty of our cars and tracks, our new dynamic time of day, advanced car damage, I want to sit there and fish. Ray tracing Can you on fish track in this game? Lead to a generational leap in immersion. This is the all-new Forza Motorsport. Oh, yeah, new Fable. I forgot. Maybe we can see Fable. We've seen a teaser a while ago. What franchise is that? Wait, is this? Flight Sim. Ah. Ah. I want to try one of these games. It must be like oddly like relaxing. Can you fly over the entire world? You can, wow. Wow, where is this? Makes sense, yeah, okay. Wow, this looks so beautiful. This game must be huge to install. November. 200 gigabytes. What the fuck? What? Halo ship? What the fuck? The pelican, yeah. I also want to fly over Yavla with this. I want to see what it looks like. Wait, if you fly over Yavle during December, can you see the big goat then? That'd be cool. Which one's your favorite? Mine's Tracer. She's like, she's not the cavalry team. You're one of those heroes, aren't you? Before me, I see the future. 
I'm already Tracer. You know there's more out there, don't you? Even the best journeys end. But a new one is right around the corner. Wasteland. One punch is all I need. Nice work, team. Keep it moving. I cannot wait to push. Keep it quiet. Boom, baby. Check me out. Get in there. That takes a team to tango. That was Overwatch 2. I wasn't sure. It looks so You're much like the first game, dude. I wasn't sure it was like a DLC or something. No Wastelander has ever made it to the Reckoning before. <laughs> but here I am. A free-for-all with zero rules. And the survivor gets the throne. <laughs> Junker King. Welcome back, Junker Jack. King Howell has never lost. Not in 13 years of rule. On the battlefield. <laughs> Not until today. The reckoning begins. Did you really think this would be a fair fight? I mean, it's cool, fatty. I see. I have my alert's paused. I see it though, man. Thank you, dude. Wow, ray tracing pet lab. World premiere. Evil within three. Fable. A new turn-based strategy game from creators. Okay. History is filled with moments of greatness. Some well known, some lost to time. But what about the history that could have been if you were its architect? Is it civilization? I've never played one of those. How would you reshape the world? What new stories would you tell? And when your people speak, would you listen? How would you lead them in this new world? History is filled with moments of greatness. But these will be yours. Ara, history untold. Okay. It's good to be here, celebrating what's going to be our biggest year yet. That includes a few of the projects being developed across Bethesda's eight studios, starting with Redfall, and the world's first look at gameplay earlier in the show. Redfall is from the studio that brought us Dishonored and Prey. It's got so much of Arcane's DNA coursing through its veins. Compelling heroes, open world campaign, deep customization. Solo or with friends, we can't wait for you to play Redfall when it releases early next year. 
if you're looking for something to sink your teeth into right now, we've got the Elder Scrolls Online, where you can adventure alongside one of the biggest and most welcoming communities in gaming. It's cozy. This year, Zenimax Online Studios is taking you somewhere that has never been explored in any Elder Scrolls game. The Elder Scrolls Online is High gonna Isle Skyrim? comes to Xbox next week. Is he going to mention Skyrim? Oh, don't spoil me. For generations, the Breton elite have lived in safety and comfort. But now, the embers of dissent glow beneath the pomp and circumstance. I started the playing Elder Scrolls Online, yeah. Plot stoke the flames of war. The heart of the conflagration sits the Ascendant Lord. The legacy of the Bretons must be protected. Fallout turns 25 this year as we celebrate the legacy of this storied franchise. Bethesda Game Studios takes Fallout 76 players out of Appalachia for the first time and returns to a beloved location. Expeditions the Pit is coming this September. Come in. Come in. I'm calling you. If you're hearing this, we need your help. Anyone, anywhere. If you're receiving this, and you're brave enough, come join us at the pit. Your arrival's the first good news we've had in a while. It might not look like much. This place is our home, and together, we can take it back. From these rad-worshipping fanatics. When you're alone and life is making you lonely, let's go. Downtown. So maybe I'll see you there. We can forget all our troubles, forget all our cares. So go downtown. Things will be great when you're down. Wait a minute, more downtown. Everything's waiting for you. The pit, huh? I know Nerdy played Fall Fallout 76 a lot. Bethesda Game Studios has been busy, and not just with Fallout 76. After defining the role-playing genre with hits like Morrowind, Oblivion, Skyrim, hey, Fallout 3, and Believers, Fallout 4, baby. they're going even bigger with Starfield. <laughs> Later in the show, my good friend Todd Howard will be here to reveal more of their next epic RPG. Hey, shit! All right, I'm fired up.
My dad tells stories of a terrible war that happened across the sky. Heroes fought and died to give us a chance to start over. All that I know from their Earth are the is creatures they sent along with us. Yeah, this is our. And here on Arat, every day is a fight to survive. Anyone can tame this new world? We can. Oh, it's Vin Diesel again. <laughs> Arc two, huh? Is this that Nazareth game? Score. No, it's Scorn. release date oh <laughs> well yeah and halloween nice when the gods first emerged from the great below we saw them as saviors instead they unleashed a pestilence on our world I will play Scorn, Not absolutely, dude. You can kill a god. I, for one, intend to find out. What is... What is this? Where's the blood? Looks legit though. I guess it's PG-13 or something, I don't know. Look legit. Would have liked a little bit more uh, blood, I guess, but eh. It's gothic. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> World premiere. Here it is, dude. Mojang. I'm gonna craft. Legends hold great power. 
They are the dreams we weave into our shared story. Some legends tell of peace and the beauty of simplicity. Some tell of danger. And the end of all things. But the legends we hold dearest are legends of hope, of creativity, and of bravery. And friendship that change the world forever. No, I don't think so. There's the only champions. This is the legend of a united overworld. Is this like an RTS? What is this? United by you. Minecraft Legends, a new action strategy game. That's cool. We take those. I remember when you first arrived. You made quite the entrance. You wanted to make a new life for yourself. What is this? Oh, this looks nice! Oh. I like this! And while you explored, you uncovered a mystery. I'm sure we can get to the bottom of this. Together. Lightyear Frontier. Alright. I looked kind of nice. Looked cozy, man. Play day one with Game Pass. <laughs> Never played it. Gunfire Reborn. Oh. I've heard of it.
Anyone here? Only anguish fills this residence, Benedict. I got a bad feeling about this. Since I found the first piece, there must be more. That's him. My father. I can guide you through his memories. Last case of Benedict Fox. Legit. Bonjour everyone. I am excited to be here today to tell you more about Interior Nights first original creation as Dust Falls. It started with the desire to create a deep interactive experience all levels of players can enjoy together. Because stories are brilliant, universal tools that help us understand the heartbreaking beauty of life. This game is an uncompromising tale of family, resilience and sacrifice, written like a prestige TV show with a unique motion graphic novel style that triggers the imagination. This is an interactive story powered by video games that gives you agency over the lives of far from perfect human beings. This is a thought-provoking experience you can play with people you love, discover insights about each other and create shared memories. As Dust Falls is an emotional experience that we hope will leave a mark with everyone who plays it. All right. How long is it? I think it's like two hours or something. Ninety-five. Okay. For most people, Turok is just a pit stop. Wasn't taking the scenic route your idea? Yes! But for us, it felt like a trap. There's enough cash in that safe to put the last few weeks behind us. On the ground, now! You were in the wrong place at the wrong time. We've been in the wrong place forever. Sometimes doing the right thing is doing the wrong thing. I've got eyes on two hostages. None of us escaped that night. It's okay. Even those of us who made it out alive. Stop! Why are you following me? We've taken very different paths in life. But they all lead back to Two Rock. You harvester? Yeah, that would never happen. Get rid of the cop. Hey there. Evening. Hey, Sam. Say, uh, you haven't seen three fellas in a blue pickup, have you? Nope. Been here all day. How you like in the desert dream? Oh, uh, can't complain. Can I uh, ask what brings you to Two Rock? to eight players, damn. Oh, is this the Battle Royale game? I guess it is, yeah. 
Naraka, yeah. Blade point, yeah. I was zero. Yeah. Campaign mode? What? Hey Jax, thank you brother. Thank you man. Fair battle and reset the cheeser. Thank you. I catch up with all the alerts after the show. Thank you guys. That's like now. Soon. I was waiting for Todd to show up, dude. Fable! It's not Fable. Are you ready for a new wild and wacky fruit flavor? Introducing Africa. Stop by and make sure you get your Billy Hall hot dog. Special breaking report. More local teenagers have gone missing. This could be linked to the disturbing trend of missing teenagers from our otherwise quiet Wait, this is grounded! Obsidian again! If anyone has Wait, seen the are they gonna have a release date now? any other information, please contact the police department. Grounded is sick, friends. dude. Verbal knows you might be a little homesick, but that can be repaired. First, you will need to survive the yard against terrifying insects and treacherous wastelands. Unfortunately, my memory chip is a little rusty. But with a little maintenance, we can unravel why you are here. Before someone or something terminates your tiny existence. Good luck! I'm sure they'll have a uh, release date right? a release date now. Yes. Yes, come on. Soon. Not long, please.
today. September. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Nice. All right, I'm going to play it then, the moment it comes out. Yeah, the hardest difficulty on Grounded was awful, but they've changed it now. They've actually changed it so you can change difficulty mid-game. Helios. They search for someone who does not exist. Yeah, probably there's a shadow. The forgotten child of a scattered race. Lost until now. Now they have awakened the Erebon. Now they have awakened me. Capcom is tomorrow. We're going to watch that. But I am not their hope. I am their reckoning. They will not drag me into their light. Because their light is a lie. Cool design. Here he comes, dude. Damn, what is this? I speak now to those who heed a darker call. Those bold enough to cross it... the line of sin for deeper knowledge. Who follow an unquenchable yearning born of blood and bone. Cordials here. To unlock the forbidden secrets and foulest black rituals. Calling for life from death. Sacrifice to this profane knowledge. You will be a priest of Rathma, a necromancer. And you will not confront the darkness alone. Are the speakers of the dead, and the dead have no mercy. I'm very excited to announce our fifth and final class, the Necromancer, a commander of the undead who joins the other iconic classes around the campfire in Diablo 4. These include the mighty barbarian, the elemental sorceress, the crafty rogue, and the powerful druid. And you'll want them because the demon Lilith, the daughter of hatred, has returned and spreading corruption and evil as she fights to reclaim our dark Gothic world as her own. And it's up to you to stop her. 
Now, Diablo 4 is the culmination of the 25-year history of the franchise, building on top of the best of what's come before with some, you know, unique twists all its own. So let's dig a little deeper by watching, for the first time I might add, some Xbox Series X gameplay, while hearing from a few of the many people behind the game. Diablo 4 is the next generation of action RPG, melding monster slaying and loot collecting with a fully realized open world. It's not for the faint of heart. It's gory and unnerving. It's creepy. Diablo 4 is all about player choice. It takes all of the pillars of a Diablo game and just expands them with all of the new features that people really love and appreciate in modern games. Whoever you see yourself being, you can create in Diablo 4. It's important to include robust character customization because then I can play the fantasy that I want to play. It allows you to switch around your playstyle as well. Everything feels very powerful and fun. One of the really cool things about having an open world is your journey that you take throughout Diablo 4 is your own. There's no linear path that you have to follow. We've got almost 150 dungeons in the game. There's all kinds of surprises as you're exploring. Strongholds are an enemy territory that you need to reclaim. You might have a space that begins as a hostile area, but after you've cleared it out... The evil in this place has been cleansed. It now becomes a friendly town. Sometimes it's a new town, sometimes it's a new dungeon. There's a whole bunch of rewards that you get and you have a real impact on the world as a result. No, you can't leave us here. They might come back any moment. Local events are really cool little story segments that happen within the open world. You'll just be running through the world and then a oh, local event a cool will pop style. up and you can choose to participate in it or get a group together and just wail on these like giant world bosses. These are events that take a lot of people and you really have to work together. Being able to see all the players on your screen collaborating, trying to take this big monster down, it's its epic. It does look really good, man. It's so easy to create a community. It makes Diablo more of a social experience. We've got fully enabled crossplay. If you have an Xbox and your buddy has a PC, you're gonna be able to group up where you could play couch co-op. Two people on a couch can sit there and have a great experience. Wait, what? We've created specific zones where players can engage in PvP. If you go there, you can start swinging away at people. But couch You're also opening yourself up to being swung at. It's actually all invasion. If you're like really, really good, the game actually marks you as like a champion on the map. You basically become a loot pinata, and everyone wants to chase you down. Oh. The last story mission is really the beginning of a whole different part of the journey. Now you're set up for the end game, and that end game is rich with things to do that allow you to get more and more powerful. Whether it's new items or new dungeons or new paragon boards, every single time you come back to play Diablo 4, there's going to be new stuff for you to experience. And it's something that we're going to support oh, that for so years satisfying. to come. I'm really excited for folks to get their hands on Diablo 4. Just to see millions of people really enjoying the different options. Through the campaign. Local events. Couch co-op. Endgame. PvP. It almost doesn't end. And we are so close. Are we? It looks really good, man. But after Diablo Immortal, dude, I haven't even played Diablo Immortal, but I've seen like 
Josh Drive Hayes video on it, and dude, it's fucked, man. We brought updates that were free to those who sailed the sea. Hey, this Though is uh, always more potential within. And as this song will spell out, there's plenty to sing about. Now that you can finally be a captain, can you imagine owning your own ship? Decorated with oh, nice. what you acquire. Then to satisfy your vanity, as long as there's no profanity, you can name it just how you desire. <laughs> oh, to set sail as a pirate captain. There's both loads of new features we proclaim Or to set sail as a pirate captain That's why we really think that you should play this game And it's available with Xbox Game Pass, of course Or to set sail as a pirate captain Adventure will come knocking on your door Or to set sail as a pirate captain And you'll be amazed at what we have in store The choice is yours, whatever captain you may be whether that's cold looting, no stop shooting, rumble racing, or embracing, everybody's welcome in this game. So come set sail as a pirate captain. Our time is almost up, so as we leave, if you want to be a pirate captain, come do it in season seven to see your thieves. This game, I, I'm too scared to play it, dude. The fucking Kraken and Megalodon and shit freaks me out. Ravenlock. Todd gotta show up soon, man. Show's almost over, isn't it? If it's 9 to 5 minutes. This is Fable right here. Wait, this is Cat Game? Annapurna? Wasn't that Cat Game? No, that's already been premiered, so they can't be. Oh, is that inside a limbo that is? Oh. I would beat the shit out of this game chat. Whoa. Cocoon. Come 
on, dude. Can we take more? Is it? Is it Mio 3? Gotta be Neo 3, dude. Nope. <laughs> nope. Looks sick, though. Wulong. Pod is showing up right now, 100%, dude. Here it is. Here he is. Well, Japan is the home to some of the most talented and well-known game creators anywhere in the world. We're thrilled to be working with Koei Tecmo to bring Wolong Fallen Dynasty to Game Pass day one. I'm also excited to be working with Team Ninja was a long history of building incredible action games for Xbox, and it's great to be working with them once again. We know how important it is to our fans to continue to bring more Japanese franchises to Xbox. I'm excited to announce the return of one of the most highly requested and beloved franchises to Xbox from our partners at Atlas. Wait, Atlas? What do they make? Is that Persona? Oh. Persona Portable. Persona fans on fire, dude. Now, I'm excited to announce a special partnership between Xbox Game Studios and one of the greatest creative minds and innovators in our industry. Oh, it's Hideo. Someone that I have admired for many years. Yeah, it's Hideo, dude. Today, I'm pleased to share we will be working together to create a brand new experience like we've never seen before. Yeah. Thank you, Phil. Eh, konnichiwa. Kojima Hideo desu. Eh, zutto tsukuritakatta game ga arimasu. Eh, sore wa dare mo taikin koto mo nai mataku atarashii mono desu. Eh, sore ga tsukureru hi ga kuru no zutto matte orimashita. Eh, Microsoft no sai sentan cloud technology to eh shijou no henka niyotte その未知なる構想への挑戦がようやく可能となりました。Okay. 
、えー、少し時間はかかるかもしれませんが、えー、これから、えー、XBOX ゲームスタジオと提携し皆さんに喜んでいただけるニュースをお届けしていきたいと思います、right. ご期待ください He's been tweeting so much about a horror stuff. Thank you, Kojima-san.、So. We're thrilled to have Kojima Productions working with our teams at Xbox Game Studios. Today, for the first time ever, we have focused on showing you games that you can play over the next 12 months. Today's show celebrates a diverse lineup of global game creators of all sizes who bring with them unlimited potential. Games from these creators will be coming to Game Pass every single month, including Naraka Blade Point, As Dust Falls, He's showing a Plague up now, Tale Chad, Requiem, after this, Pentiment, Persona 5 Royale, Somerville, and Scorn, just to name a few. And we start 2023 with the launches of some of the most anticipated titles from the teams at Xbox and Bethesda Redfall. Minecraft Legends, Starfield, Forza Motorsport, and more. This has been an incredible year. Here we go. As we achieved record growth across console and Game Pass, with millions of people playing our games every single day. And we have you to thank for that. Whether that's new players joining us through Xbox Cloud Gaming or our longest fans playing on Xbox and PC, we could not have done this without you. A year ago, we welcomed the talented studios at Bethesda Softworks to Xbox. Their teams have been hard at work bringing their franchises to Game Pass, shipping updates to their games, and building new experiences for you to enjoy. We know that everyone has been eager to see Starfield. Our show today has highlighted gameplay, so it's only fitting that we end it. With an extended first look at one of the most anticipated games in Xbox history. This is Starfield. But where is Todd? All right, let's see what it looks like. That's not it. Don't worry, don't worry. It's hard to express how excited all of us at Bethesda are to be here with you today. We're so grateful you're spending the time, and we know you've waited a long time to finally see Starfield.、Uh, it's easily our most ambitious game ever. Like our previous games, it's an epic role playing game where you get to be who you want and go where you want. Killer outfit, But this、pod. time, you'll be exploring space. So let's jump right in. This is early in the game as you arrive. On the mysterious moon of Crete. All right. Who's laughing now?
According to the scanners, the abandoned research facility is in this direction. No man's sky. <laughs> After some initial encounters, you're invited to join Constellation, who, in the future the game is set in, are the last group of space explorers. To meet them, you'll head to the capital city of New Atlantis. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. We're all here because we're committed to the biggest question of all. What's out there? These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. As to what they are, what they're building. What is You'll be part of solving that puzzle now. So, you found something? The new guy found it. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? The artifact you found appears to be one of many, scattered across the galaxy. If we can find more, we can unlock their secrets. Beautiful, isn't it? The man who sold me this told me that it spoke to him. Of course, the Settled Systems is full of groups with other priorities. That's the Crimson Fleet! Everybody get ready! 
simply doesn't follow the rules. Agree to work for UCC Steph. Together, we take down these cutthroat pirates. We're not just here to shoot the bad guys. We're peacekeepers. We protect the people of the Free Star Collective. When you sign up with the Crimson Fleet, no one quits. The only way out is death. The path ahead may be dangerous. But we are not stopping. Most Dusties don't even make it this far. Because whatever lies at the end of this road will change humanity forever. That gives you a look at the stories in Starfield. But ultimately, it's not our story. It's the story you create by who you are and the choices you make. And that starts with character creation. Oh, okay, I was just gonna ask. It's our most creation? flexible yet. You can customize all the elements of how you look. You'll pick a background that gives you three starting skills. It says here you spend some time as a diplomat. Having a way with words might prove useful. There are optional traits, and these come with unique advantages and disadvantages. But it's not just in how you can look, but in how your character plays and develops. The skill system combines the best from our previous games, and you can unlock new skills as you level up, and then you rank those skills up by using them and completing challenges. And there's deep crafting systems, from running research projects with the resources you find, to crafting weapon mods needed to survive. I recognize that sound. And you can build your own outposts. These act as a home away from home for survival and oh, resource generation. Oh, this is generation. nice. You can choose where and how to build each one, and you can hire characters you meet to keep it up and running. Oh, nice! I like that. I like stuff like that. But. That's not all. You can even build your own spaceships. Ah, uh, nice. You can choose crew members. And yes, you can completely customize the look and layout. That's There's fucking There's loads sick. of different modules, ship manufacturers, and more. I have to say, it's so cool. We just absolutely love this. It's not just how the ship looks, it's how it performs. From engines, to shields, to weapon systems. Because yes, you can fly it. Thrusters boosted. We see that. Oh. can't wait for all of you to experience the game. Thanks again 
for being with us today, and thanks for all the support you've given us over the decades, especially on this game. It's been an incredible journey for us making it, but we know that's really only the beginning, for it's when all of you play it that the real journey begins. And you may be wondering, just how big is this game? So we thought we'd take one last moment and show you. Let's take a look at one of our planets, Jemison. You can land in New Atlantis, but you can also land and explore anywhere on the planet. And it's not just not this really. planet. It's all the planets in the system. From barren but resource-heavy ice balls to Goldilocks planets with life. And not just this system, but over a hundred systems. Over 1,000 planets, all open for you to explore. We can't wait to see what you find. Okay. The question is, how ready is it going to be on release, though? How buggy? How much is in the game? I want to play this on release just to see bugs. 2023. Nice. I guess the show is over now. A PC gaming show is in one hour, I think, or 55 minutes or something. Bloodborne PC, man. Happening. Yeah, it's a good show. They didn't show anything Elder Scrolls, no. I gotta say, Diablo 4 looks fucking amazing, man. Wrath game.